People with food allergy or intolerance? Have you ever been tricked by a friend or family member to see if you were lying about your condition? What happened? Story 1. I know it's popular to hate gluten-free people right now, but I legitimately can't consume gluten because I have celiac disease. There's definitely a threshold for my allergy, but it's not but I'm not totally sure where the line is. I'm usually fine eating, for example, fries from the same fryer as onion rings, but if I eat an actual piece of bread, I'll get headaches, stomach aches, and probably throw it up. Anyways, the summer after high school, my friend got me a job at this awful Mexican restaurant she worked at. Everything came in bagged slash frozen except the green chili, which we made in-house. Every time I start at a new restaurant, I make it a habit to learn what allergens are in what dishes, because I take that stuff seriously, and I also want to know what I can eat safely. This restaurant had all ingredients and allergens for everything listed in a binder, so I read through it and saw that the chili was actually gluten-free. Every day at work, I would get a plate of rolled chicken enchiladas on corn tortillas smothered in green chili. But after a few days, I started feeling sick. It started with headaches, then stomach cramps so bad I had trouble focusing at work. I messed up orders, had to constantly take breaks, and generally was miserable. In the middle of the night or in the mornings, I would wake up throwing up. But this being the restaurant industry, no one would let me call in sick. Eventually, I threw up in the bathroom while at work, and they sent me home. I was out for two days, but I couldn't figure out what had made me sick because I'm careful about my groceries and everything I had eaten at the restaurant was supposed to be gluten-free. When I got back, I was talking to my friend, who, by the way, had not checked up on me at all, about how confused I was with the whole thing, and she started absolutely laughing. Turns out she didn't believe I had a real allergy and thought it would be funny to prove I was faking it. So she got the cooks to add flour to the chili. Obviously, I was freaking ticked. She had essentially poisoned me, and who knows how many other people, by adding the flour. What is wrong with people? Celiac is an autoimmune disease, so it can take months to repair the damage and for your immune system to settle down after exposure. I'm sorry that happened to you. What a horrible person. I know it's like trying to prove that someone's dog isn't really a service dog and they just got themselves a jacket with service dog so they could be in the building while they work. But this is a lot worse. I mean, these people that are playing a joke to prove that they don't have a disease, if they're wrong, someone is going away permanently, and I don't see that people think that through. Story 2 I have a strange allergy that most people don't believe. I'm allergic to mint and menthol. Anything that's supposed to give you that nice cooling sensation just feels like burning fire and makes me swell and itch. No anaphylaxis, but just really uncomfortable. It's in toothpaste, face washes, deodorant, candy, hair products. I had a friend, and as young teens do, she decided to wash my hair and give me a sleepover spa day sort of thing. We washed each other's hair in the kitchen sink, cucumber on the eyes, candles going. She had heard me many times say I was allergic, so I decided to trust her. But without telling me, she decides to use her mom's fancy peppermint shampoo, thinking it wouldn't be bad. Suddenly, a relaxing spa day turned into a Michael Jackson Pepsi commercial. Next thing I know, I'm writhing around trying not to tear my scalp off while I'm screaming at her, What did you do? What's in this? She kept telling me that it was good stuff and her mom uses it all the time. Mom never had a problem. The remainder of spa day was spent with my head running under cold water until the Benadryl kicked in. I also get an adverse reaction to Benadryl, so instead of sleepy, I get hyped. The rest of that sleepover was me sitting like a 16-year-old on 
Peruvian marching powder, trying to watch a movie by pacing back and forth behind the couch, patting my thighs to the beat of everything that was happening in the movie. Not a fun sleepover. Maybe this person thought peppermint wasn't mint or menthol? Other than that, what were they thinking? Oh, it's good stuff. My mom uses it all the time. Does your mom have a mint allergy? <laughs> Story three. My mother does this constantly. I stopped accepting food from her a long time ago because she will either purposely add my allergens into the food or use utensils covered in my allergens to stir otherwise uncontaminated food. She just refuses to believe that her kid could have a life-threatening allergy. I don't have the kind of food allergies that just make your stomach upset. If I come in contact with any fermented or mold-based food, I will literally have my throat close and my nail beds turn blue as I stop breathing. I've been hospitalized for this. Everyone who knows me knows this and tries to avoid bringing me into contact with problem foods. Except my mother. The worst example of this behavior happened when I was moving. My mom comes over to help me move and bring those, brings over what looks like french fries covered in ranch. She picks one up and brings it to my face like she's going to feed it to me. Mind you, I'm 22 years old at this point in my life. The smell alone clued me in that this was blue cheese, so I jerked back and said, No, I'm not eating that, and removed myself from the situation because I knew I would start screaming at her if I didn't. But my friend, let's call him Dave, is flabbergasted. Everyone knows not to bring this around me, and my mom just strolls in and tries to feed it to me? For a visual, Dave is a large six-foot-six black man. He crosses his arms, looks at my mom, and goes, Dog, you know that stuff will kill her. She stammers out some, Oh, I forgot, and makes a hasty retreat to pretend to be helping someone else. Ever since that incident, she stopped trying to put this in front of him, or anyone else who will call her out on it, and has moved on to accidentally cross-contaminating things. But she still brings up how mean Dave is for cursing at her when she just wanted to bring some food over. Your mom is flat-out abusive, like, holy hell. I mean, I had been snoring for a long time as a kid, and my parents just thought I was a growing boy, and that's the way it... In my body was just adjusting. Turns out, later, after I had a job with health insurance, I was diagnosed with severe sleep apnea and had to wear a CPAP for a while. So I can understand the frustration with not having a parent believe you. Story 4. I'm allergic to limes. Other citrus doesn't bother me. Just limes. I'm a bartender, and so things suck sometimes, but I'm usually okay. My allergy developed after I had started bartending. At first, it was just a mild skin allergy, but I could still drink it. Then, it started getting worse. I'm at a point now where even a small sip of a drink with lime will set off a reaction in my throat. It burns very badly. And the hives. My goodness, the hives. I usually have to remind friends and family when they're trying to make me drinks because it's not a common allergy and I'm almost always okay. I can't have my favorite drinks anymore when I go out because most places don't have the ability to make me a margarita with lemon instead of lime. Most pre-mix their juices or whatever. Maybe they're lazy and just don't want to do it. Fine, it's not a big deal, but I always ask anyways on the off chance that they can. It's not really just that, though. I can't trust people at other restaurants and bars anymore. This shrew told me she could make a margarita with only lemon. I was super stressed. I can't have sour mix or anything. It must be only lemon. She said it was no problem because they had fresh squeezed juices and it was easy to accommodate me. She used a sweet and sour mix. And when I started drinking it, I took a big sip and could tell immediately when it hit my tongue. She had a smug look on her face until I started reacting right there. My boyfriend raised absolute hell while I was trying to get the reaction to stop. I should have pressed charges, but I didn't because I was younger then and felt like her being fired was enough. 
I still wonder every so often whether or not she learned her absolute lesson. Story 5. I have alpha-gal allergy. Got bit by a tick at Fort Dix, New Jersey in 2014. Made homemade beef tacos the night prior to having my first hive's anaphylaxis. At this time, docs didn't know what I was allergic to, so they did a blood test on everything. Came back negative on red meat skin test, but highly positive for alpha-gal allergy. My Asian mom doesn't believe in allergies, so she doesn't believe me. I was already having a hard time with it, knowing I would never be able to eat a nice medium-rare steak ever again. Mom makes stew with pork in it. But surprisingly, I didn't have a reaction. A reaction for me can be between 4 to 12 hours after ingestion. Thought I was cleared and I wasn't allergic anymore. Nope, I did not consult the doctor because this allergy is still in its researching and testing phase. Turns out, four to six months later, after returning to my normal diet with red meat, I have the quickest and most dangerous reaction. My body went straight to anaphylaxis in four hours. Since then, I've carefully monitored and stayed away from red meats, but will occasionally take a small, teeny piece of pork because I like the taste. I haven't had a reaction from the small pieces, so I've continued to eat small pieces from time to time to test my body's limitations. Yes, I know, I'm risking my life, but I've got a couple expired $600 EpiPens, and with my luck, no reaction. Yet. I know this isn't that, but saying you have alpha-gal allergy sounds like you're allergic to strong, independent women. Story 6. Not exactly tricked. But I had a coworker with a severe dairy allergy. Had to carry an EpiPen and everything. She was leaving the company, so on her last day, I brought in a huge batch of vegan brownies. Typically, when I make that recipe, I use soy milk. But I had another coworker, B, who had a soy allergy, so I used almond milk instead. Coworker B took one of the brownies after confirming with me they were totally soy free but came back about 10 minutes later asking if I was sure there was no soy in the brownies. She was clearly having a reaction, so I panicked and started listing off all the ingredients I used in the recipe. When I mentioned the almond milk, she said, Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm allergic to almonds, too. She ended up going home for the rest of the day, and I'm still baffled that someone with allergies that severe wouldn't verify the food she was eating was free of all her allergens. I'd just like to say it's incredibly sweet of you to make special brownies that cater to not one but two of your co-workers' restrictions. Thank you for being so kind. Most of these stories have been on the person playing the gag to try and prove they weren't on allergies, but this one was on the other person. You gotta ask everything. You can't just assume, especially... Has this person never heard of almond milk before? There's so many milk substitutes on the market nowadays. It's amazing to think that you're actually allergic to the alternative. Story 7. My best friend at the time didn't believe anyone could be allergic to cedar. It makes my eyes itch and burn, then swell shut. She thought I was probably just being dramatic because I didn't like the smell or something. I was spending the night at her place and she brought me some blankets. As soon as I wrapped up in them, I realized something was wrong. They reeked of cedar. Her mother kept them in a cedar chest, and she thought it would be no big deal. She quickly changed her tune and then apologized profusely once my eyes started to swell shut, and I had to call my folks to come take me to the ER in the middle of the dang night. Cedar allergies are awful. My husband had a cedar allergy and literally cannot visit my family in winter because of all the cedar trees. I didn't even realize there was so much cedar till the first year he came with me. I felt so terrible. I've been very adamant with my family that he has an allergy and just wants to be sick. I don't think they believe me, but they know better than to argue with me. Story 8. My wife, who is an otherwise supportive and wonderful partner, refused to believe I have an allergy to pistachios. She said it's because I'm too nonchalant about diving into a bowl of nuts, then later asking if there are any pistachios, but at this point I just kind of knew from glance if they are. Anyhow, we were at a nice place for lunch with her family and ordered a meat and cheese board. I didn't even consider that a pate would have pistachios until my second bite, and I saw them. My wife, slightly justified, said, See, you aren't allergic. 
Thirty minutes later, I was in the emergency center. My entire body broke out, and I had trouble breathing and swallowing, and she was crying. I was trying to calm her down while attempting to swallow and not expire, feeling if I did pass, I didn't want her thinking it was her fault. One giant shot in my butt cheek and a very calming nurse helped out. She later got mad that I didn't carry an EpiPen with me, but she forgets. I'm a dummy when it comes to that stuff. Story 9. My sister would make food and then complain that the label only said may contain traces of nuts when I said my throat was itching and I was getting an agonizing stomach ache. She did it so often that I eventually refused to eat anything she had made. I don't think it was because she thought I was lying, because she kept on doing it even after I made it clear that I knew I had been given nuts. She didn't like me. Maybe she was trying to be a juvenile homicidal maniac by using cake as an unaliving weapon. Also, my dad would make a peanut and rice mix and refuse to let me get anything else for my dinner. I should just pick the peanuts out, according to him. He also would make himself peanut butter and jam sandwiches and put a big old smear of peanut butter in the jam and butter, then shout at me when I refused to eat jam sandwiches. Maybe they had a juicy life insurance policy for me or something. Your sister and your dad are horrible. Was this person ever hospitalized? Would that be what it would take to convince these two of their behavior? I mean, if all it's doing is just burning his throat, are they just saying that he's faking it? Hopefully he's got enough age and money to move out of there soon. Story 10. I am fatally allergic to peanuts, but it didn't become a full-blown life-threatening allergy until my late teens. I have always hated the taste of peanuts, though, and they made my mouth and throat itch and overall made me feel nauseous from a young age. My mother was convinced that I just needed to keep trying peanuts and learn to like them. She would sneak it on my jelly sandwiches thinking I wouldn't notice or something. Being young, I didn't realize that itchy mouth could be a sign of an allergy, and my mom apparently didn't take me seriously and thought I was making an excuse to not eat it. One day she tried this tactic while my friend was over for lunch. We were about ten years old. I realized what she'd done and felt betrayed and tricked. I dramatically shoved the plate away, spilling my chocolate milk everywhere. I cried and ran away upset and embarrassed. My friend was crying from laughter. She still brings this incident up regularly. You should post your story on Raised by Narcissists. That's crazy that she brings it up. Even after knowing you're allergic. Please like and subscribe if you've made it this far. I hope you'll enjoy the rest of the video and have a wonderful day. Story 11. My own father. I'm allergic to mushrooms. He didn't think that was possible. One weekend day when I was 14, it was my turn to cook dinner. I made bolognese sauce and left it to simmer on the hob while I went out to play with the dogs. Whilst I was out, he secretly cooked a few mushrooms, liquidized them, mixed them into the sauce, then hid all the evidence. You couldn't see them, smell them, or taste them. I ate the dinner and when two hours later my guts began to protest, I was so confused. I made the sauce myself. There was nothing bad in it. Everyone else is fine. It wasn't until the next morning, after everyone had to listen to me emptying my entire digestive system all damn night, that he finally admitted what he had done. It felt good listening to my mom shouting at him for hours, and she made him scrub the entire bathroom with a toothbrush once I was finally out of there. I'm glad your mom fought for you. That is some real hogwash. Bet he didn't get any for a long while. Story 12. My parents. I have a severe cross-pollination allergy to all fruit and some vegetables. Not anaphylactic, but bad. Apples are the worst. I cannot breathe sometimes if I smell them. Parents would try to force me to eat them anyway and ignore me when I complained. And then, in high school... My dad brought this up to an allergist in an, oh, she's always complaining kind of way, and the allergist said, uh, yeah, that's a thing. Cue apologetic parents forever. I remember a post a while ago on relationships where a guy's girlfriend claimed to be so fatally allergic to apples that her parents had them banned completely in her university dormitory. 
Everyone on that post doubted the existence of an apple allergy and said she was either lying or her parents were lying. Hmm. Story 13. I have a severe intolerance to oatmeal. Intolerance, not allergy. That means on allergy tests it doesn't show up, but I can't digest the stuff. One time for my birthday, a friend had kindly made me cookies. She liked to bake and experiment, so knowing that, I asked her if they had oatmeal in them because I couldn't eat oatmeal and couldn't digest it. She thought I was just being picky and was just trying to nicely say I didn't like oatmeal cookies, but she wanted me to try her new concoction anyway. Well, I ate a cookie, and it was terrific. About a minute after finishing it, though, my stomach started to feel like I'd ingested molten lava. I was doubled over in pain for the rest of the day. I asked her what she put in them, and she sheepishly told me, well, they had a little oatmeal, but it was so little I didn't think it would matter. I had to cancel all my birthday plans because I couldn't get out of bed to do anything at all. Actually, I put her in charge of canceling so she could let everyone know exactly why I was indisposed. Story 14. My parents, to an extent. When I was a small child, I stopped breathing when my parents moved me from breast milk to baby milk, cow milk. I stopped breathing and was rushed to the hospital. The doctors told my parents that I was likely lactose intolerant and to just be careful to dairy. My parents continued to feed me dairy. When I was around 18, I was eating so much dairy daily. I was also constantly on the toilet and constantly vomiting. I didn't see the link. Went to the doctors. They did some simple tests. I now avoid dairy, and I'm perfectly healthy. My parents still think I exaggerate. Story 15. My friend is gluten-free. Nephew rubbed stale bread on his skin to see what would happen. He got a localized rash. Nephew has scientific curiosity and now understands that consent for experimentation is required before the experiment has begun. Not to discredit the severity of the situation, but... I find this hilarious. Story 16. This didn't happen to me, but to my girlfriend. She's allergic to most nuts, especially to peanuts and anything with peanuts. When she was around four, she was staying at her grandmother's house for the day, and she got hungry. So naturally, grandma's gonna make some food. Her grandmother did not believe she was allergic to nuts and that she just needed to be exposed to nuts more to be fine, so she made her a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. My girlfriend, being a little girl, didn't know, so she took a few bites before she started to itch and eventually started to have a severe allergic reaction. Her grandma called her mom, and then they took her to the hospital, so thankfully she was okay. Her grandma believes she's allergic to nuts now. Story 17 My mom didn't believe my little brother when he told her he's developed an allergy to bell peppers. That night, she made salad and diced green bell peppers into the salad so that he couldn't see the tiny green cubes. Within minutes, his throat swelled, and he developed hives all over his face and neck. My mom told him to stop being dramatic as he was coughing and gasping for air. I grabbed my EpiPen from my bag and injected him as he began to faint, while my mom screamed at us for being ungrateful brats who refused to appreciate the food she cooked for us. We're both no contact now. Good for both of you. Story 18. Got tricked into having a curry that had minced lamb and cream in it. Was told it was soy mince and coconut cream. My aunt always said I was too skinny and pale, so kept pushing meat on me, especially during my period. Jokes on my aunt because I had vicious diarrhea in her toilet and her house reeked like poop for like a week. She had to listen to me loudly crying and making the wettest, loudest pooping noises ever. Even the neighbors could hear it, and her cat didn't come back home for days. I'm sorry for what happened to you. Being pinned to the toilet for hours sucks, but that last line got a laugh out of me. Story 19. Allergic to red food dye. Sleepover in middle school. Red food coloring put in my pop. Took a sip, and everyone started cracking up. Found out why, and I thought I was going to pass away. I didn't pass away, but had a horrible flu-like reaction the next day. My mom made a red velvet cake for my birthday one year, and because my dad forgot he was allergic to red dye, he was breaking out in hives and just a mess. 
A few years before, too, he had a similar reaction every time he showered, until he realized it was the red dye in his body wash. Story 20 In addition to a previously mentioned dairy problem, I'm allergic to walnuts. Anaphylactic shock allergic. So, of course, when I ask the nice lady if walnuts are the secret of her chocolate chip cookies, she says, no, no. I explain I'm allergic to them and it's important. No, no, just try them and you'll see. I tried them and immediately knew they were all walnuts. See, you aren't allergic. I am screaming at my friend across the room where my EpiPen is in the car and to have someone call the ambulance now. From the depths, I also wheeze out for someone to get her name and contact info. Thanks for trying to unalive me, lady. It's like people think you don't immediately explode, you're fine. Story 21 A friend thought I was faking a nut allergy which contributed to this fine display of buttholery. One fine day, she did the open your mouth and close your eyes thing and fed me a stuffed mushroom, which I love. When I said, that is so good, what's in it? She said, peanuts. Me and my other friends freaked out while my friend laughed her head off. She had lied as a prank and to prove it was all in my head. I legit thought I was going to have to use my EpiPen, that I might perish, and she laughed at me. She didn't understand why I was angry. The worst part was she worked in food service and knew better. Your friend is a selfish shrew. Story 22 I'm allergic to shellfish and seafood. I was with my friend at her house. Her father made a tuna casserole for supper. I had told him prior about my allergies and he straight up told me to not be a wuss and don't lie and that I was either going to eat this or starve. I was angry, so I had a few bites to spite him. I think he realized I wasn't lying when I completely destroyed his bathroom. Jerk. I have the let's close your throat and unalive you variety of this. My sister thinks I'm faking it because I didn't perish the first time I had a reaction. Story 23. My mother-in-law and not food. Fabuloso cleaner is the only thing in my life I've been allergic to. My husband's shrew mother finds out. I'm very pregnant and she brings me a ton of my husband's baby blankets, books, etc. All very well kept all cleaned and fabuloso. Now the issue is it's not cartoon level insta hives. It takes a while, enough that I have possibly eaten or touched my face. To this day, she isn't allowed to bring items into my house. Story 24. My husband is allergic to tree nuts. My aunt thought he was lying because he'd eat things with peanuts in it. Several times, she brought food with nuts in them to Christmas get-togethers. Never bothered my brother much, but he just didn't eat them. This ticked her off. So once, she made this big plate of chocolate chip cookies. My brother eats about six of them. About 20 minutes later, he's hacking and coughing. EpiPen, Benadryl, and a trip to the hospital later, my aunt finally tells us that she used almond flour because she knew he was making it up. Story 25. I have a friend with a peanut allergy and he told me that a classmate in middle school didn't believe him once and smeared peanut butter all over his arm. He was like, what the hell, dude, and broke out in hives. Similar story. There was a kid in the grade below me that was fatally allergic to peanuts. Some smart butt in his class decided to put peanuts in his outdoor shoes. Kid has his EpiPen and was able to make it to the hospital. The kid who did the prank got suspended for an extended period of time. Story 26. On the flip side of this, I made a curry that contained ground almonds. Totally forgot about my sister-in-law's nut allergy. Until the next day. She had no side effects whatsoever. She hadn't been tested since she was a baby, despite carrying her EpiPen round with her and not even having stuff like gin that sometimes they flavor with nuts. She went for the tests. All came back negative. Now she eats nuts. Story 27. I'm allergic to avocados. A lot of people think I'm lying because I don't like it. Guacamole is delicious, but unfortunately makes me violently ill. My sister-in-law thought I would change my mind if I had avocado in the right context. She gave me a burrito with guac which I stupidly ate by the campfire so the green avocado color looked like queso. I vomited. A lot. For a long time. Hopefully on her. 
Story 28. Cilantro. I guess my reaction would classify as an intolerance and not an allergy, i.e. no anaphylaxic reaction. However, a friend thought I was lying and put some in a salsa she made to see if I could tell. Oh, I could tell all right. I could tell as soon as my stomach started to swell and I started to feel very nauseous. Showed her by throwing up all over her bathroom. Sucker. Story 29. I'm lactose intolerant. Depending on what I eat, the side effects of dairy can be anywhere from being toilet-bound for a few hours to excruciatingly stinky farts. The last time someone tried to test me, they got gassed out of their own house. It was excellent. Except for the part where I threw it all back up. Story 30. Aunt and Mom. Both are not the brightest people in the context of medical experience. I'm allergic to walnuts. So what do they say? He's probably faking being a picky ten-year-old. Nope. Ate a walnut. And what do you know? Rashes everywhere within a few minutes. Freaking told you. Story 31. My grandmother, who was a bit sick in the head, gave me a seven-layer bar. Even though she knew I'm allergic to nuts, my entire face was swollen and I could barely breathe. But she said I was fine and didn't do anything. Wow, your grandma was nuts. Story 32. Remember that if you trick someone who is allergic to something into eating that thing and they perish, that prison sentence for manslaughter or possibly even unaliving, depending on jurisdiction, is entirely your fault. Story 33. We emailed my sister's caterers at her wedding several times, letting her know my partner had a nut allergy and highlighting the seriousness of it. They stocked nuts anyway. She nearly perished. One ruined wedding. Please leave your story in the comments. I would love to make a video on them in the future. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe.